Michael Broly Cup. That was a good effort. And since he's been given a bit of a break and been gelded, he's not a big gross horse. So I think he looked pretty straight and fit to me for his return. At a price, um, I, I was keeping an eye on his run last time, Epic Poet, who ran quite well on his first try for the team at York. And uh, he's, a, he's a bit of a player with some back class. I think this is such a, a tough race. It'll be rough as well. Down the back here, these will be skipping along. Jockey ship at a premium. So, yeah, I think that Epic Poet each way. You? I don't imagine you do any of the shopping, do you? Sorry? I was just about to give you a knock there for a minute, Francesca, because not only do you say you're an Ocado, girl. She also has a chef as well. That's such a lie. I have I'm three shocked. Four I, 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 I had you down as Tesco's or Sainsbury's. I'm absolutely shocked. Other delivery companies are available, by the way. <laughs> exactly. As long as I don't have to Seven drive to the children four. around the supermarket. Seven okay. to four Seven the field, my goodness. <laughs> Sheer Rocks is the one who's getting a little restless in stall nine. Settles, that's it. They're in the gate. And they're off. Racing over a mile and a half to the Duke of Edinburgh Stakes. Mahab the Champ is taken back at the break. But the early speed is put up by Cumulo Nimbus with on the inside Fairbanks showing speed. Mandub is right up there, so to its Colossal. Out very wide is Deakin, now trying to get in from a wide draw is Ethical Diamond as they make the run down the side of the course and on towards the turn at Swindley Bottom. So the grey Colossal has come through now to share it with on the inside Cumulo Nimbus and Mandub out a little bit wider. And those are the first three. Fairbanks is up against the inside rail out a little wider with the white blaze that is Deakin and then Ethical Diamond who's quite keen on the heels of the leading five Struth is racing in six towards the inside is Tony Montana the purple racing in seventh in behind the leader Safecracker will go into the turn in eighth pushing up then towards the inside is Sea King and around the outside is Party Central then there's a break of a length and a half to Crystal Black who is next to the field with on the inside rail vaguely royal out a little bit wider to those Ziggy with the check colours. Then towards the inside is Mahab the champ who was taken back right at the break. On that one's outside the second grey is Shadow Dance. Next to the field is Sheer Rocks. Then Epic Poet who has been held up and so too is Bagdor as the field in the Duke of Edinburgh now begin to make the climb. They're racing on now towards the halfway point and as they do so, the lead is being held by Cumulonimbus on the inside rail. Mandub on his comeback run is racing in second. Fairbanks is parked on the rail in third. Deakin is in in fourth. Still, Ethical Diamond is extremely keen out wide. Colossal's already under a ride and losing ground. To the inside rail, Tony Montana is covered, but is in a pocket. Now switching out a little bit wide is Party Central for clear sailing, going around the outside of Struth, but they're very tightly grouped. At the moment, Bagdor is the back marker. Last but one is Epic Poet. Shadow Dance, another one right out the back of the field and dropping away is Mahab the champ. The field turns for home. Mandub is running huge. Deakin is running straight strongly to the outside. Fairbanks now cuts the inside rail. On the outside, Ethical Diamond is staying on. Colossal is picking up once again. Crystal Black down the wide outside is next, followed by Struth. Racing now with a furlong and a half to go. Deakin, Mandub, and Fairbanks over on the far side. Here now is Ethical Diamond. Ethical Diamond and Eric very wide is Crystal Black. Crystal Black and Colin Keane have taken the lead. And on the runs the line, Crystal Black to give. Jack Keane, his first win at Royal Ascot. Crystal Black wins. In the end, it was Epic Poet who got up for second, and then Ziggy was involved in a photo for the Miners together with Ethical Diamond. 11 to 1 winner. Had to go very, very wide here, but in the end, it's Crystal Black and Colin Keane who have got there. Epic Poet will have to track where he has come from because he was in the last two for so, so much of that race. And he's flown, absolutely flown late, but did he run into traffic problems? He's the light blue, punch of the air from Colin Keane, first win at Ascot, Royal Ascot for the trainer. Emmett Poet in second, it's going to be Ziggy in third. Far side, Ethical Diamond, who just frankly pulled too hard in fourth. Huge run by Mandu off the track, 23 months in fifth. Fairbanks in sixth. Deakin travelled like a dream, probably best of anything. But in the end, he capitulated in the final furlong. Winner here for Crystal Black. The horse is still full of beans. In the last race, we had Father beating Son. 
Here, Meg, this is a great family affair, isn't it? It's son riding for dad. Yeah, absolutely amazing. And this horse, I mean, he has just continued to improve, hasn't he? Up in trip again. He needed every yard of the mile and a half, it seems. But it will mean the world to Colin. You know, he's his dad's done an amazing job getting this horse to just continue to improve. He's really found the key to him. And uh, I know that this horse holds a really special heart, uh, place in Colin's heart. So uh, this is huge. They're, they're, oh, they'll be emotional, I think. Just look at this. The noise was unreal. just love it. You have the powerhouses winning five, but when you have a 